Hello, people of the internet, and welcome back to Millennium Edition 56. And today, we're going to be checking out my fragrance collection. Yes, just because I, I think this would be a fun video. I think this will be a fun video to do because uh, I don't really go into much of anything other than maybe technology or drums anymore. So, you know what? Why not? So, I'm going to be telling you um, some of the backstories of which I got these fragrances what I think they smell like, and what whether or not I would recommend them to somebody else. And you never know, maybe I'll start a fragrance... I'm just kidding, I'm not going to start a fragrance review channel. If I do that, I'll just do it on my regular channel. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so here, let's start with the back row here. So here is the lower end scents. These are the higher end, but not high enough end stink, uh, scents. And these are my favorite scents. These four are my favorites, but let's start back here. This is Axe Gold, uh, which smells just like it says right on here, Ode Wood and Dark Vanilla. It smells like Ode Wood and Dark Vanilla. <laughs> hey, at least they told it like it was. It's a body spray, so technically this is one of those you're supposed to, you know, while you're, after you get out of the shower, you're supposed to spray it all over your body. I don't do that. I just put it on my clothes. It's easier that way. Um... Got this at like Dollar General back when I loved to spend money. Um, nowadays I don't spend as much as I used to, but this is one of those things I just spent a lot of money on. Plus my work, I'll give you a hint, my work uh, has grease. Like grease smells get all over my clothing because of the grease. So this was actually pretty strong and did it last all day? Not with the grease smell, but I mean it was it's good enough. I believe I paid three something for it at the at that point. Here's a cheaper scent right here. I actually I believe I got this for uh, one dollar, <laughs> and it shows. This is a uh, Bros New York Obscure Eau de Toilette. Smells now like rubbish. When I first bought it, it smelled fine. Like it smelled like a how do I say it? It's like a really it's a really higher it's a higher scent I guess um, it's supposed to smell like a particular Hugo Boss but it, it does a horrible job of it um, and of course now I use it as my cologne for work just so I can get rid of it body spray is not exactly something you should just throw away in the trash because uh, some of these uh, body sprays are made out of chemicals of which can explode and you're not really supposed to throw these away you're supposed to um, use them all and then throw them out even though, yeah, it doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, another one dollar. And uh, here's another three dollar cent. And I have two of them actually. So let's just go over one of them. Axe Phoenix. This was like my scent of choice for the longest time. This is actually what got me into uh, buying scents. Was this because it smells? Honestly, it has a sporty smell to it. Like you know, like a runner smell. Like you know, somebody who goes running a lot would wear this type of deodorant or body spray well it would go well, that one said deodorant body spray on that that's what okay anyway um, this strikes me as the type of uh, body spray that one would use in a sports setting so that's why I have two of them I have two of them uh, because well I got into sense and then I somehow happened to have two of these so now I have to uh, so these bottom ends are generally used for like, you know, going to work. Like, I go to work using those scents most of the time. I use the other two for work sometimes, but most of the time the bottom end gets used for work. And the reason why is because I just want to get rid of them. Like, I don't want all of these, uh, I really don't want all of these colognes anymore. Uh, these are out of fashion for me, so. Now let's go to the middle end, the ones that I am more enthusiastic about only, let's say. <laughs> so this Eau de Toilette, whatever you want to call it, is called Yap Man Blue. This is a fragrance from Germany, and it cost me $3, and it was on sale, and it, it smells pretty good. It has a lighter, like, the ocean. It smells... Like a lug, like a luxury cruise going down the sea. But in all seriousness, it, it's not that strong. It doesn't last very long, honestly. Like I've actually put this on uh, when I uh, go to uh, particular places, <laughs> and uh, 
let's be honest here, it probably lasts about an hour and that's about it, so. That's why it's in the middle class and not the high class, even though I really want it to be the high class. It's just not good enough for the high class. Calvin Klein 1 is a, the same scenario. It smells alright. It doesn't smell as good as it could. Um, I'm honestly kind of disappointed. I spent 10 on this, so it's not that bad. But still, I think I would have rather had something else. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't smell bad. It kind of smells... How do I say it? It's a more murky smell, in my opinion. This, on the other hand, I really like, but there's a particular reason why I don't like this. So this is a Chrome by Azaro Body Spray. Like I said, it's one of those that after you get out of your shower, you gotta spray all over yourself. Um, just like the Calvin Klein, just like the two axes, or the three axes back there, excuse me. Um, this one smells really good. I love the smell of it. Now, the smell is actually kind of hard to describe. But I want to say it's like, I want to say you get, it's the kind of scent you get at Lincoln Dealers. How's that? It's the kind of scent that you would probably get at a Lincoln Dealer if you went to the Lincoln Dealer today. <laughs> and no, I did not just plug their cars. Um, but I have one major problem with this. It chokes me up every time to use it. Like, I, like I'll spray it in my uh, closet because that's where I spray all my colognes. And every time I spray it, I'm guaranteed to cough for at least 10 minutes, and I don't know if it's the scent. I love the scent, by the way. I don't know if it's the scent. I don't know if it's the chemical composition of this Chrome by Yazaro. I just know that it chokes me up, so I don't... I Unfortunately, I don't spray it as often on myself as I should. It, it definitely smells good, and I'd like to try the, uh, the, uh, Eau de Toilette version of this, uh, Chrome by Yazaro. Uh, because I think that one would actually be better because, well, it probably won't choke me up and I can use smaller doses of it um, instead of, you know, you know. Then here's Red Active. Uh, I don't really know what perfume this is supposed to, or cologne, whatever you want to call it, that it's supposed to emulate. I really don't. All I know is that kind of smell, it has a sportier smell to it. It's more of a, it's more of a, Oh, I'm going on a run type smell more than a, I'm going on a yacht type smell. Those are the t main types of smells that I like. The uh, yacht smell and the sport smell. Um, this actually doesn't smell bad, but look, this one wears out quickly too. So I don't wear it very often. Um, the yacht man, on the other hand, I wear a lot because uh, even though the spray comes out really quickly... It smells really good. This one doesn't smell as good, so this one doesn't get used very often. Now on to the favorites. So, here's the first one. I actually uh, got this from a relative. Thank you, by the way. You know who you are. Uh, Adidas Dynamic Pulse Body Fragrance. This has a, like I said, sportier smell. Like I said with the other ones, I should say. A uh, sportier smell. I honestly cannot come up with what it smells to me like like it smells like a cross between oh I'm going out on a sporty drive and oh I'm going out on a run which it's Adidas what do you expect the scent lasts a while and it's just generally a great it's generally a great body fragrance this is back when I was on my BS on uh, spending my spending sprees <laughs> And this is probably either the second or the third most expensive one I have here. I'm not sure. This is a Nautica, this is Nautica Blue Sail. I, I forget what it's called. I'll, I'll put it on screen. Uh, but anyway, this cost me about $10 uh, for this big, beautiful piece of art. Just, just look at it. It's just beautiful. It smells really good. I It honestly smells like kind of a yacht club thing theme type thing. It, it smells really good. And uh, does it last? Eh, it lasts about four to five hours depending on how much I spray it. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. And here's my second or third most expensive here. 007 Intense. So yes, this is probably my second if not third favorite scent. I'm not really sure. I think 
my second favorite is the Nautica, and this is my third. It smells like you're about to go be a mob boss. Let's put it that way, because this thing has a really menacing smell, and I love it. Uh, yeah, it's, it smells really good, and... All right, and the final one is the most expensive one by far on this whole collection. This one cost me $32. I'm not even joking. I paid $32 for this, and this is probably my proudest one. Versace. Brahame, which is Versace for man. That's literally all it means. I lost the cap a long time ago, but the smell still reigns. It has this really classy just vibe to it, man. Like It has this classy vibe of which just kind of strikes luxury. It's a beautiful bottle. The scent smells really good. In fact, this one actually lasts longer than the rest of them. They, usually this one will last about six, seven hours, and then it'll wear off. In the minute, like it'll wear off uh, later in the day. But yeah, it's perfect.